Hey there, talk that NOLA fam. Julie Corette here with national champion and Super Bowl champion Marlon Favorite. And did you guys know that there was a national gumbo day? I had no idea that even existed. Just to show a thought along makes me want to like leave here right now and go run and get some gumbo. I well, you're not alone with wanting some gumbo because here at Talk Dat Nola, we got together some of New Orleans' finest food critics, food lovers, food experts to come together, head over to Dryad's Public Market, and do a gumbo taste and ranking test. She's right. Everybody from Mandina's restaurant, mm. uh, Tiger Creole uh, Cuisine, uh, Neo's restaurant, uh, man, uh, Cajun seafood, mm. just all the good food that New Orleans have to offer, the restaurants that hold them. Oh, man, it's wonderful. With some of the best people doing all of the tasting, we've got Michelle Brennan, a local Louisiana yeah. native. She's got a fabulous food Instagram account. You need to go check her out. We've got Greg Tillery of the nationally known We Dat Chicken. And we've got Rudy DaFoodie, national food guru. And they're going to be tasting it. But before we go check it out, won't you guys go straight to the bottom of the screen, put your comments. We want to hear from you. Uh, what's your favorite seasoning to go in the gumbo? What type of, are you more of a sea, uh, seafood gumbo person? Or are you chicken and sausage? We want to hear from you. So go ahead and comment below and we'll toss it on over to the crew. My name is Rudy Rayfield, also known as Rudy the Foodie. I'm Michelle Brennan, and I run NOLA Foodiegram on Instagram. My name is Greg Wattillery. I'm the owner and founder of Weed Ass New Orleans Own Chicken and Shrimp. Here I see a thin roux. Um, looks like it has some flavoring in it. So looking at this first one, I noticed a few bay leaves, which kind of strike my attention, and these big crab claws. It's kind of gravy-ish. Um, Here we have a little bit of a thicker consistency. I see some shrimp. It smells good. I'm wondering if they're using that weed at seasoning in it. <laughs> well, first I'm gonna taste the roux. Mm. It has a very, it's a little thin, but it's a very good roux. That is very salty. Very, very salty. I'd give that one a four. Lacks a little flavor. That's good, it's a good consistency, it's a good flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a, I'm gonna give this one a three. It's about mid-range for me. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, it's lacking flavor. I mean, it tastes good, I'd give it a, I'd give it a four. Okay, this is the one that is um, quite a bit thicker than the others. It's okra in this gumbo, so, that, that that means a lot to me because I love okra. Mm, you can taste the okra in this. Um, it's very thick. It has a good flavor though. It's okay. It's, 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 it's okay. Overall, one. This deep. Uh, not a ton of flavor in this one. Oh my. It has no flavor. That doesn't taste good at all. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. B overall is a two. I'll probably give it um, probably a three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rate this one a two. You see how I'm smiling right now? Because I'm looking forward to eat. Uh, lots of meat in this one. Don't really see that much meat in it besides the shrimp. Here go a piece of meat. Different gumbo, um, but it's not bad. This is definitely my favorite so far. Overall flavor is a two. About a three and a half. All right, can you do half? No? I'm gonna rate this a four. This is my kind of gumbo. Shout out to Dryad's Public Market for hosting us as we did our gumbo tasting. Next time you need all of your ingredients in your produce, make sure you stop over here on Aretha Castle Haley. And when you're trying to season it, make sure you try that weed ass seasoning, original flavor. We are located in Dryad's Market and other stores across the city. Tigers won. won. Mandina's came in sixth place. And I'm looking at the list. I saw Neil came in fourth place. I thought they would have been a little higher. They're pretty good. 
You know, everybody likes their gumbo a little different. I like mine with a lot of seafood, a lot of shrimp, a lot of crab. And I like mine with okra, not only just because I like seafood gumbo, but okra, some sausage. I, I'm being quite honest with you, I really like my aunties. My, my, my aunties do, does a really good job. You know, I feel like you and I probably like a lot of different types of gumbos. Our food experts, they were a little tough, man. They were tough, man. I was While we were watching, I was looking at uh, Rudy the Foodie, yes. man. I'm like, hold on, man. Just calm down on They're them. They're very but specific about the roux and the consistency. Uh, I just enjoy it so much. I feel like I could eat all kinds. And to be quite honest with you, I think all of the spots are good. I mean, the, the, the food is delicious at Neo's, When you're Moreau's. talking about New Orleans gumbo, it's really hard to weigh out right. which one's better. And they were so great to work with Talk That Nola. We were loving having all their gumbo tasting today. I mean, I know what I'm doing with the rest of the season because it's cold. Yeah. We got football, which means it's gumbo season for me. Touchdown, <laughs> baby, all day. But we want to know from you, what do you love? What do you want in your gumbo? Where do you like to go for gumbo? What's your favorite things? What makes gumbo awesome for you? So get in there and put your comments in. Put your in. comments in. Make sure you go Share, down. Share. Yeah. Like. And keep tuning in because Marlon, we're going to be yeah. coming back at you. Coming soon, Marley and Julie show. Put a little emphasis <laughs> on it. Hello.